everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy. And boy, do we have something fun to do tonight. We are going to make our own Robin Buff. What? Two ingredients, shoe polish and mica powder. I'm not kidding. So exciting. I got this shoe polish. It's a brown color. I got it at Dollar General for like two bucks. And I'm using a spatula that I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm mash it up first before you add the mica powder. Then you add the mica powder. I do one-to-one. Um... Other people may have different formulations. I found what worked best for me is equal parts, okay? And then you just mash it together. Um, for the mica powder, you could even use eyeshadow if you wanted. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's so much fun. Um, I found the Rub and Buff, you can buy it on Amazon. I think it was like four tubes for 20 bucks, something like that. I always forget to get it on my Amazon list though. I always forget. And I figured, hey, let's see if we can make our own. And um, hello, we can. Oh, and to contain it, I got these Dollar Tree containers. Um, They come like eight to a pack. They're cute little containers and they, they work perfect for this. All right. And then I went and did, now listen, you could do so many different colors. That thing of um, shoe polish, you can make so many different colors. I mean, can you tell I'm blown away? I'm so excited. I love it when I can do something, like make my own something. Self-sufficiency, that's what it is. Well, anyways, I'm doing the same thing I did before. I put the um, shoe polish on a plate or some surface and mush it and then put the mica powder on, mush them together. I'm doing the same thing here. This is a different color. I'm using black. Oh, side note, if you get the mica powder from Michael's, like this one, and you're like, oh, why isn't it coming out? Oh, friends, guess what? <laughs> There's a little protective seal on the inside of the cap. Yeah, if you don't take that out, um, yeah, the mica powder's not coming out. <laughs> yeah, love me through it, right? I mean, come on. Woo. But anyways, once you get that little seal out, it works like a dream. <laughs> um, anyways, how cool would this color be, though? It's black shoe polish with the blue mica powder. Oh, <gasps> yeah, it came out awesome. So I'm going to test it out. I'm using a cute little ceramic bunny I got at Dollar General for a buck. And this is what it looks like if you apply it with your finger. Works really well. Love it. It will stain a little bit on your finger. I'm just saying. Um, this is what it looks like if you use a paper I think this is a napkin. It didn't work as well. But friends, look at when you use a paintbrush. And this is actually a makeup brush from Dollar Tree. Look at how oh, it came out so good. I, I got a little carried away and I did the whole bunny with it. <laughs> and then I was so excited about that. I did the same th same thing with a dark one. Yay. This is what it looks like on wood. And it works just fine with a napkin on wood. Um, but look at how fun. That is awesome, hey? And then look at this is a Walmart um, frame that I got for like five bucks. Look at this. You can't see the dark one really well, but this is the lighter one we did. Oh, look how pretty. And wait for it. Look at the blue one. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, friends. I hope you'll try this. I'm so excited to have to, I can make it myself at home. Mm -hmm. 